Monday, folks. It's Monday. Making a roam through the shop. Y'all know Blaine and Izzy. Yep. Truth is, it's fairly late in the day. I didn't grab the camera. What have y'all been doing today? Odds and ends. Getting yep. ready. Odds and ends. Odds and ends for you is? Cut and clutch this. This one's been running errands all day. Pretty much. <laughs> Four different stores, three of them twice. It's crazy. Back and forth and back and forth. Uh, so. Some of the joys of where the shop is located. So you went to Lowe's, correct? Yep. How far away is Lowe's? Uh, it's like 40 miles, so it's a 45-minute drive. <laughs> yep. We're out in the woods, y'all. That's for see. sure. Out in the woods. And yep. Austin is uh, roaming around here. You've been sorting tools? Pretty much all day. There's people in the same different, what is it, the rapture or something? And we had nitro all day yesterday on the content. John reps in the house, y'all. Whitney. I'm getting educated, Clay. I know. We got meetings going on in here. My and Kayleen. Parts order going on. I am over here putting together parachutes. And, you know, it's a lot, of, a lot of stuff that people are always questioning on parachutes. So, this is a brand new one. I'll just set the camera up and show you. So, all I'm doing is these bags, these parachute bags are pretty nasty and dirty. And we're going to start the year off with some new clean ones. So... This is how they hang on the back of the car on the wing stand. They just slip in, put a bolt through them, and the parachute goes in here. So, all right, so like I was saying, you got eight bolts hold these things in here, and nylon's pretty hard. I've tried drill bits, I've tried kind of everything, but pretty much take a torch and a welding rod, heat it up. Burn a hole right in there, your screws go right in. And that's how we mount the uh, shoot packs to the new bag. Pretty simple. All right, got the bags put together. You can see it's got quite a few bolts in there. And the parachutes are pretty simple. So they just go right to the wing stand on the back of the car, which we don't have the the wing on there at the moment. But uh, so that just goes there, one bolt, holds them in place. And got our couple brand new parachutes. And I'm gonna be honest, I just don't really care for the silver bags. And there is a spring in here. Show you how this works. Get this pin out. So that's all there is to it. So this is called a pilot chute. When you pull, and I'll show you when the cables are pushed inside the cockpit, this pops out, out comes the parachute. These things are 22 foot long, and they provide a ton of stopping power, I can promise you that. So I will uh, give you a quick rundown of how to fold them and how they go in the car. All right, so Let's just say you just made a run, made a good one, opened the chutes. So like I said, the chutes are about 22 foot long. And after you make a run trip, typically the shroud lines will get all kind of tangled up and you really don't want them wadded up and twisted up too much. So I typically stand up and do this, but because of where I got the camera. So you just use your, this is how I do it. Don't mean it's the right way, but it's worked forever. Take your fingers, pull on the chute a little bit. Got two fingers, making sure everything is straight and not wadded up. Three fingers now, and number four. So I swap hands, got the chute. My shroud lines are all looking good. Turn it, flip it over like that. <clears throat> Come right over here. There's eight panels, four panels, but eight sides. And I take and line them all up. That's all I do. One, two, three, four. Make sure they're straight. Five, six, seven, 
It's a brand new chute, so it's really slippery. And number eight there. So I get that lined up, make sure everything's looking pretty square. I put a knee on it, <clears throat> pick up number one, pull, run my hand out to make sure it's not folded over or wadded up in any kind of way. So I just keep doing that until I have went through all eight. And then I get this square right across here, put my knees back over, make sure it's lined up here. Now I fold it in half. Brand new chute, it's definitely slippery. So now I got it folded in half and I'll just take my hand, push the air out of it. And then you'll come back to here and you start S folding the parachute. Kind of like folding laundry, folding towels. So we know how big that box is. And you just kind of like, okay, that box is that big. So put one hand on top, one underneath, pull it over. Keep doing that over and over, pulling it towards the race car. S folding, trying to keep it square. S fold again, you can kind of see it's baggy here, but that's the end of the chute where everything comes together. And turn it back into a square. Then you're going to pick it all up and walk to the car, and we will, we will do that. I'm gonna pick it up, then I'll come back and get y'all. Pick it up, walk to the car. So when I got here, I just flipped the chute over, and we have our shroud, line, shroud lines on top. <clears throat> and I open one panel back up. And then you basically S fold these as well, trying to stay within the size of this box. Just go back and forth. Again, this actually is easier once the chute's been used a few times. Back and forth, back and forth. Trying to keep it all inside your square. And then, because we don't have the wheelie bar on here, I'm not exactly sure how far I need to go, so I'm gonna leave the aluminized stuff out. Then I'm gonna fold this back over. And that is a big old square, kinda. It's not the best square in the world or the best job I've ever done, I can promise you that. So the spring that comes out is called a pilot chute. You take a piece of nylon, I think this is called Primacord or something like that, I'm not sure. Stick it in there, make it go in half, lay that off to the side. Now for the fun part. All right, so we're gonna pick it all up, stick your hand underneath on top, and then the wrestling match starts. Just get it all gathered up nice there. And try to get it all pushed inside this box. And the way I do this, I just push it in. Get these nylon straps up out of the way and just work it in with your hand. And yes, the spring is about as strong as I am. So take string. Slip it right through the parachute bag. Pull it through. And once you get it through there, get some wrestling. Keep spring in there. Get your thumb and put on top that string. Keep tucking everything in where it's trying to jump out. Do the same thing on this side. And pull for all you're worth. There we go. Once you get the string through there, get a thumb on it, you are in control. So I do the bottom flat next to last. String up through there. And one more time on the top. Give it a good pull.
All right, so that wraps up how to pack a parachute if you've got a standard old parachute. All right, guys, that's what it looks like all packed up, ready to go. Like I say, I have a method for uh, right side and the left side, right side. This flap first, this one second, this one third, this one last. Reason is, when you pull this cable, again, operated by the driver in the car, when that cable hops out, that spring's trying to push everything out. So this flap goes first, that one goes second, which makes the pop chute want to go up. And then this one, which makes it want to go out. And then that one's last. So I'm going to go pull the, uh, push the chute lever up there and let y'all see what happens here right quick. Let me show y'all what I'm actually pushing inside the car. I keep talking about it. So inside the top fuel car, this lever right here, when I'm going down the racetrack, I simply push that forward. And when I push that forward, it pulls this wire or both wires actually. And boop, the wire hops out, the chute comes out. Pretty simple. Here we go. And that's how it works. And now I gotta put it back in. Anyway, won't y'all know how that works? And that's how it does it. Pretty simple. All right, folks, thanks for watching liking do me a favor hit that subscribe button and we will see you in the next one